Hi, Dan Fox Senior, back in Red Dead Redemption. Where we have fully recovered from Butch taking pot shots at us, and I want a full armor made out of those binoculars. By the way, because that shit was awesome. How they managed to stop a bullet, I'll never know. And we are going to see Agent Ross between 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. And we are going to see McDougal because Ross isn't in. <laughs> Awesome. Got to love it when you've got a plan. So fine, McDougal, what are you up to? Come back between 7am and 10pm and we're going to sleep. This is going to be a great episode. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try and go and see Agent Ross during the daytime this time. Although I've no idea why I'm going to see him. It's not like I've got any news to tell him. I still don't actually know where Dutch is. I'm presuming he's moved on since the last time I saw him. What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. An informer just told us some interesting news. Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. What do you say to having a little financial discussion with the fellow? This way. Let's get up on the roof. We'll have a clear shot at them from there. Well, if you know Vanderlyn's coming into town, why the hell am I searching for him out in the wilderness? This makes no bloody sense, man. So we're just gonna have a shootout in the middle of town instead? I mean, I'm up for it, don't get me wrong. That door is the only way in and out of the building. So cover it tight. Do you see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Dutch's boys hitched them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Don't start shooting until they're out in the open. If we spook them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Keep your sights trained on that bank door. You really think you're better than the law? Why don't we just shoot the horses? I find that works I quite successfully. Someone's coming out. He's unarmed. Whoa. Hold your fire. Bastard just shot the hostage. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Yes, they are. He's running nowhere. Who's next? You, stick your head out. Okay, stick your head out again. Thank you. Who else have we got? Don't see anyone there. Oh, fuck, I missed him. Sorted. Who's next? Alright, how you doing? Take out those snipers in the window. Sweet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just making the run for it. They're all making the run for it. Get your arse back here. Oh shit. No, 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 no. There we go. Marston! Head into the bank with Hopkins and Manning. Get Dutch. Be careful. There may be some innocent people there. We can take them! Come on, let's get in there! You mean we're just running... Oh, we are just running straight across the street. I was expecting this place to be a bit of a bloodbath. I didn't think I'd be able to run just straight across the open courtyard, but never mind. Shoot the door open. On it. Absolutely agree, dude. That is bullshit. Hurry. Get through that door. Move in. This way. Keep an eye out for Hi guys. Uh Well you shush. Try to concentrate here. Alright, Chief. Sorry about that. Wrong place, wrong time and all that. Uh, you may wish to change your gun. Come on John, get round the corner to there. Couple there, that should be fine. No, what the hell? Everybody out! Run! Now! Good work! Touching down here! He's gotta be hiding up there! 
No worries. Did that? So what happened there? Did I just shoot his gun instead of shooting him? I mean, the man managed to hold on to it pretty damn well. Sorry. Okay, Dutch. I know. Aye. Try to talk to people here. Right. Dutch, where are you? And you there, guys. How you doing? What else we got up here? Later, dude. Oh, bollocks. That'll do it. And again. Jesus. Come on, son. That's it. Aye, I'm sure you have. Why am I doing all the work? John, I've told you. How many times have I told you you don't reload a gun by jumping up and down? Man, man, listen to me at all. Oh, it's nice to see you, John. Hello, Dutch. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. Ain't seen her for a while. Because you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No, oh, he must be what? 15? 16? Doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. It's over, man. Of course. Of course. I surrendered, John. You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint. But equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch. By making compromises, we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? Huh? You always were the romantic sort. You know, gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Used to ride with us. We all had her. Oh, but he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. No! God damn! Let's get after Fucking him. hell, man. I don't see him! What the hell happened in there? This is your fault, Marston! Hey, it's my fault! Too, Sheriff. You waited too long! Next time, I'll just shoot the girl. That's enough! Come on, let's find the bastard! Right, horse, get your ass over here. Yeah, who the hell is that? My fault, you son of a bitch. Come on, supposed to be your goddamn job in the first place. Hey, what happened in there? We saw Vanderlyn escaping from some men. He stole off with the bank manager in an automobile. Let's just say, Dutch ain't gone and got himself saved. He killed some poor woman. There's an old logging camp further down this road. It's been abandoned for years. My guess is that's where they're headed. Come on, follow me. Sounds like a plan. Come on, hurry up, guys. You should spend more time with your horses. Mine's just get way more stamina than this. So that's the great Dutch? What a role model! The man who made you who you are. I guess so. Has he changed? No, still the same crazy bastard he turned into. How was it seeing him after all this time? Hug on your heartstrings? He kind of reminds me of you. A violent piece of shit who went and confused himself with God. Isn't that sweet of you? And now you must kill him. Your side is chosen. My side ain't chosen. My side was given. I'd kill you a hundred times before I killed Dutch. If it was an option. Hallelujah! I think we're finally reaching an understanding, Mr. Marston. Completely agree, John. Should kill absolutely every single one of these fuckers. Who the hell are you fellas anyway? Lawmen or army? We are neither, Mr. Marston. But I have the authority over both. You bastard can't ever give a straight answer, can you? There's the car! They must abandon it and continue on foot! Yeah. Holy shit! That's a lot of guys! I don't see any more. 
but they're taking down these horses pretty damn quickly. Oh, and that one's going to get in the way. Come on, horse out the road so I can shoot him. Thank you. Right, get down, John. What you doing? Get off the goddamn horse. Well done. And stop taking bullets, will you? Not really seeing anyone to shoot here. Fucking... Also expecting Ewoks to jump out at any moment. Don't know why. Right, you dude. You'll do for a start. Tell me I got him. Thank fuck, because I couldn't see a thing. <laughs> no. This isn't it, is it? This can't be the last showdown, surely. There's got to be more to it than this. I can't see Dutch being just at the end of this trail. Alright guys, how he's doing? Still going strong? Oh look at that, he reloaded his gun. Well done. <laughs> Lie down. Oh fuck. How you doing there, son? Didn't see you there. Allow me to correct that. How are you still up? Jesus, there's hundreds of them again. Right, just keep your head down, get your health back. Well done. Now go kill people. Here's one, he'll do it for a start. Ow, 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 ow. Get behind the tree or something. Shit. We got left too. Where are you? I can see neither of you. There's one. Come on, dude. Head up. Let's play. Thank you. Last guy. May as well go hunting. Hello? What the hell? <laughs> I never really was good at reading maps. Meet the agents at the cabin. Good stuff. So I'm guessing Dutch is gone. Again. What a surprise, eh? Move up. Stay with Where's Dutch, Marston? He got away. Uh, scared to shoot him? Too much to handle? When the opportunity presents itself, I'll put a bullet in him, don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it, but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. You know, at the end of this, you'll probably get a medal. I know I shall. <sighs> ah, fucking slimy bastard, so he is. Tell you, man, I would just, I would quite happily end this entire series right now if I could just put a bullet in Ross. Screw the family, screw bloody Dutch, everything, just ha. Ah, put a bullet in fucking Ross and be done with it. Anyway, since that's not an option, in the next episode we will go and see McDougal and find out what the hell he's got for us and if we can somehow find out where the hell Dutch has gone this time. Because apparently John's magical GPS has stopped functioning for a wee while. <laughs> Anyway, as always, if you enjoyed this episode, please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to leave any comments below. Until next time, take care, folks.